Work is related to worship, mm. right? He, Romans 5, right? Offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, which is your reasonable act of service, service mm-hmm. yeah. or your spiritual worship. worship. Mm-hmm. When I spend face time with the Lord, he fills me with the energy and the desire and, the, and, and to get motivated. So then I say, hey, babe, so what, now she's the administrator. Mm. She's got, like you, Jackie, she, she's ready to always keep moving. Mm. She gets turned on again <laughs> when I say, and I'm, I'm using these terms, but it's like, that's it, it's true. Like yeah. she gets excited when I pull, I say, babe, pull out the collar. What are we doing this week? What's going on? She, oh, and then she gets into it. She gets <laughs> Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing, Fawn? Huh? Let's we go, working? Let's go. What are we doing? Yeah. We're working so, now. Uh, we need the Holy Spirit yeah. who, who energizes us. We get directions from heaven. Uh, and then we good. turn that into times of devotions, worship and singing, planning and preparing. And Are there specific ways that husbands and wives can quench the spirit in their relationship? Oh, yeah. How? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I think bitterness is a big thing. Uh-huh. You have to keep short accounts in your marriage. Uh-huh. Because if you start last month and uh-huh. a year ago, and you're like building cases, that, oh, my goodness. Like, you have to keep short accounts. So we try to, uh, babe, why are you saying it? Like, right in the moment, uh-huh. he'll be like, da 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 I'm like, What's that can energy? You, can you say that again, honey? Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And he'll be like, can I? Da, da, da. You yeah. know, and but we built to that place. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I'll say something. He's like, I don't like that you're telling me what to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but he learned to say it with a very Low, yeah. low tone because he's Haitian yeah. and he's I don't like you talking like that you know and I'm like why are you yelling you know and then now we're, now we're arguing about that uh-huh. right and so I'm like can you say it a little lower please you know uh-huh. so he's like I, I feel like you're telling me what to do and I'm like how can I say it in a way that f- you feel respected yeah. and he will literally teach me what he wants yeah. and I think that we, we sometimes romanticize marriage so much mm-hmm. that we think you're just supposed to know what to say. You're supposed to yeah. know what I want. You should know me by now. And mm-hmm. we have, that's something you got to eliminate from your marriage. We, should, we shouldn't even be past it. We should be mm-hmm. past this by now. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't be arguing about this anymore. Yeah. We shouldn't. Yeah. Conversations are going to come back up again. Because what I hear you guys over. saying is, you know, like you had to work, but that work takes a lot of humility. Yes. Because for me, I mean, I did not like, like the, I didn't like that Jackie tried to correct me, and I didn't like the way that she, and I didn't, I didn't like the way she did. But then, you know, when she started to kind of fix her tone at times, I still didn't like it. I was like, "Stop correcting me!" Yeah, you know, that's a hard issue at that point. Right? It's a hard issue, and which yeah. is cool though, because when I think when when one spouse kind of does a behavior, but in the power of the spirit, then it actually then reveals your own lack, right? 